Welcome to Super Tuesday presented by Progressive. This is the ACC on ESPN tonight from Durham, North Carolina. Cameron Indoor Stadium, number nine, Duke taking on Wake Forest, a pair of 20 win teams and double digit wins in the ACC. The head coach of the Blue Devils in his 42nd season, Mike Krzyzewski, just three more walks onto this court. This place that he has turned into a cathedral of champions coming out in his final season. The Blue Devils taking on a Wake Forest team tonight that has been in the thick of the fight. The Blue Devils lead the ACC in an 11-3 record. They hold the head-to-head -head tiebreaker over Notre Dame. The Wake Forest is sitting there with a big turnaround season but coming off a loss to Miami over the weekend. Reese Davis alongside the newly announced Hall of Famer, Debbie Antonelli. Nobody more deserving. Congratulations on that. Uh, Wake Forest has had a, well, maybe not a Hall of Fame worthy turnaround, but quite one. They've got a terrific offense, best shooting team in the ACC. But this Blue Devil run of winning seven of eight has been keyed by defense. Yeah, the Blue Devils have the best defense. When you look at field goal percentage defense, you look at three point defensive, and also the top shot blocking team in the ACC. When you look at the ball screen defense in the middle of the floor, Mark Williams does a great job of drop coverage. Look at A.J. Griffin on the strong side, staying home, not overhelping, allowing Mark Williams to handle that situation. Now watch this play right here. These defensive disciplined hands are high. You see that Mark Williams stays attached. And then watch Wendell Moore drops to tag the roller. Good ball pressure, the ball goes inside. It's a contested two-point shot. Duke rebounds again. Their defensive rebounding margin is solid, and they are a very good defensive team when they stay connected. And that defense will be put to the test by Alondis Williams, the transfer from Oklahoma, who leads the ACC in scoring and assists since they started tracking assists in 1973. No one has ever done that. And the sensational freshman for the Blue Devils, Paolo Bancaro, He's done a lot of things right for Duke this season. One thing they would like to see him do is maybe at times be a little more aggressive with his shot, be shot ready. Had a big game in the first meeting against Wake Forest, a 12-point victory in Winston-Salem for the Blue Devils. They really took control late in the first half of that game and pulled away. Our officials tonight, John Gaffney, Doug Sermons, and Jeff Hartness. Ball is in the air. and. The Blue Devils will start Trevor Keels getting the start tonight. He missed three games from a leg injury. 